Corporate effectuation. It is new to many. It's the answer to the question what managers can learn from entrepreneurs. Managers that want to be entrepreneurial have been taught to be goal-oriented. Good fortune tellers regarding net present value calculations. Great problem solvers, finding the best niches in the market competitors are neglecting. And, once an entrepreneurial project is approved, avoid contingencies and persevere in achieving the predefined goal. After well designing the project plan with the right milestones and governance model, projects are expected to be executed as if driving on cruise control, which implies that the future can be predicted. But how do you control a future you cannot predict? In 2001, Sarah Sarasvati and Stuart Reed discovered effectuation. Where causal logic focuses on prediction and planning, visionary logic is mostly based on persistence. Adaptive logic seems a process of trial and error. Effectual logic offers principles that help entrepreneurs in control even though the future cannot be predicted. Effectual co-creation. So, what are these corporate effectuation principles? How do they help corporate managers to be in control and to be entrepreneurial? Principle 1. Bird in the hand. Who am I? What do I know? Whom do I know? We are taught entrepreneurs are goal-focused and then search for means, the outside-in approach. The opposite is true. An entrepreneur starts with a means assessment and then constructs imagined ends. The second principle, affordable loss. Not focusing on the upside based on prediction and historic data, but focus on the downside. How can I limit my possible loss? Crazy Quilt – Co-creation with self-selected stakeholders We are taught entrepreneurs are brilliant in solving puzzles. How can I beat my competitors? How do I best position myself in the market? Entrepreneurs, however, don't puzzle. They co-create with stakeholders they trust, who are willing to pre-commit themselves. The fourth principle is the Lemonade Principle – Leverage Contingencies Effectuation is action-oriented. The future doesn't come from trends and protocols, it is created by decisions and acting by the pilot in the plane. Entrepreneurs teach us that we should match the way we think, act and make decisions to the environment. This is proven not to be as easy as it might seem. As Stuart Reed proves, with an online simulation among executives divided in two groups, most of us are perfectly able to extrapolate historic data, in an uncertain market, however, we are counterproductive. Where one would expect the use of control principles, we try to do a better job in predicting, as we are taught, and therefore forget to switch to effectual thinking. This only happens after quite a while. Conclusion: Switching to control principles isn't something that comes intuitively. So, what can managers learn from entrepreneurs? Applying the five effectuation principles that expert entrepreneurs use, managers can be entrepreneurial and in control at the same time, even in environments where the future is unpredictable. Valuable insights that have been acknowledged and also translated to the corporate world. More information is available on corporateeffectuation.com and .nl. You too can become your company's Richard Branson. Interested? Programs and workshops are provided by the Center for Effectuation of Corsendon College, Belgium.